This world is precious. I mean, even the god of destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope Id doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cipher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon. the support. I won't waste it! The spell is perfect! And yet... It seems the binding is only half effective. <laughs> Captain, the rest is up to you. You must save it. While it's still in effect, I'll maintain the spell for as long as possible. But we're in a race against time. Hold nothing back! So, who's up for a little guy? Don't mind if I do. Of course. Try to run! So we're up against the Dragon of Destruction. The represents both creation and destruction. Aubergine wings drive the evolution of all beings. Life gives way to death, and death begets life. Our attempt to intervene with this process may have far-reaching consequences. I want to believe in the limitless potential of Sky Dwellers. I want to believe you can rewrite even the laws of reality. It's turning really fast. Oh, no. We haven't known each other for too long, but I can feel it. We wouldn't want things to end like this. We just have to save him. Let's see what you got. Who cares if you're stuck inside Bahamut? I'll quest you out myself if I have to. Nice reaction. Hold the line. It you were betrayed by the woman who raised you, made into a dragon's vessel for 15 years. And yet you, a mere mortal, survived. If I should fail to rescue you, I don't think I shall ever forgive myself for the rest of my long, long life. In the past, I had merely existed. It wasn't until you Sky Dwellers let me into your hearts that I learned it was to live. Unlike immortals, you are capable of change and growth. All I want is to be a part of that. To help you build a glowing future as an astral. I am also to blame for the failures of my people. And I swear to you now, 
I will set things right again. No! No more! I don't like to admit it, but gods are a little beyond our skill level. We need more firepower! I think you mean dragon power. Lyria, do you feel up to summoning Bahamut? Okay, just give me some time. That is the light of the apocalypse. The fire of doomsday. Its power is transcendent. If the attack lands, all the skies will be obliterated. his destructive urges, but it seems his body and soul are still in one piece. What in the... No. Versa is trying to take full control of its body. Well, we're not gonna let that happen. No! Taste me! Now! Don't you remember? You made a promise! Is this your idea of protecting Lyria? You finally crawled out from under Lilith's thumb? And now you're gonna let yourself be crushed under verses? Not your problem! Please! You can't push us away! Without us, you're pretty much the awkwardest person I've ever met! <laughs> He's right, kid. Face it, you need us. Run away! Please! Run! He knew us better than that, Id. None of us would ever abandon a friend. Tear them apart! You would want to <laughs> Did you like what you saw? So what? We can take this leg down. Back to business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here goes Let's see what you got. Nice. Let's finish this. Oh, it's on now. No. I'll make quick work of this. Farewell. I'll clean this up. No more. 
Don't die! Farewell! No, no more! So long. Now it's getting good! The sword sovereign reveals his strength! Cien mil espada! Shine as one! Hail burst! Now that's teamwork! This crew works miracles. Oh, look! Mission to the trick! I have you! Let's go! Second night! Here goes nothing! Let's end this part! What's the matter? Its mind is growing more and more fractured. You need to bring him back Time to now. Get Out of my way. This crew gets results. I guess so. Agreed. Prepare for the next. Let's go, Enough. No more! No! Can we do it? Step back! Twist it! Don't let you! He's starting to break free from Bursa! Just a little more! Hey, bud! Why don't we give him a wake-up call? Got it! Hold on in. But now that he's human again, you have one last chance to wrest him completely free. I don't know what to believe anymore. You should at least believe in yourself, Rufus. Think back to when you were fighting to protect the sky. Did that feel like a lie to you? No, because that was what you actually won. Sorry. Whenever you feel confused, just follow your heart. It might lead you to some great places. At least you'll know you're being true to yourself. Did you have to remember? To all of you, to Lyria, to the skies! What's that giant rift? <gasps> it must be the gate to Versa's home dimension! Versa is now a manifestation of sheer power, with no vessel to contain it. It won't be able to linger in this world much longer. If you can just weather these next attacks, the day is yours! Right, if I can get rid of Versa, I finally find it. All right, Rusty. Let's see how you like a taste of your own medicine. Put your powers against you. Even though there's so much at stake, I feel so strangely calm. We're veteran skybearers. This ain't our first apocalyptic rodeo, and it won't be our last. If I had a rupee for every immortal buff you picked, I could probably buy my own island by now. I don't mean to get mushy, but. Uh... I'm really proud to be a part of this crew. I feel the same way. I won't let anything happen to you or our world. Our journey can't end here. It's not Guada. We're gonna kick some dragon tail and go on sailing to the end of the sky. The sword sovereign reveals his strength. Cien mil espada! Zandalfon! We'll end this quickly. No!
hurts. All that I've suppressed in the back of my mind. Damn it. I should have realized it sooner. No use running anymore. I am who I am. Evil dragon. Child of darkness and flames. My name is... <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You've suppressed Versus Core and driven it back to its home dimension. Is everyone safe now? Thanks for everything. <laughs> you can buy me some apples on the way back. Huh? We're still not done. Leave this to me. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Forgive me. Hmm. Kids these days, you two are totally <gasps> nuts. Be back soon.
Let's roll into you, Bernie. <laughs> you okay, man? Where are you? Hmm. Good question. Someplace far away? Hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working... For now, sadly I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. Guess not. Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fix-It, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. Oh, One last thing. So until I get back... We bumped into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? For Mother's crimes and mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. Formality. We already said it was fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of us now, not me. Never forget everything you've done. Never ever. 
And when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zegra Grande Sky. New friends. New allies. We saw a man torn in two by family and betrayal. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there, waiting for us to come get him. And as for our journey, there's still much to see. To the ends of the skies, where the stars reside, someday we will reach Estelosia.